diabetes comes in flavors, like ice cream, except less fun. Yeah. So a lot of your body actually runs on sugar. You need sugar in order to live in the same way that you need air and water and protein and things like that. When you have diabetes, the problem is that the sugar um, that your body takes out of your food and then puts into your bloodstream stays in your bloodstream instead of going into the cells where it's actually needed. And having this higher than normal amount of sugar running around in your blood is, for, in the long term, not a very good thing for your body and for your health. But diabetes actually comes in a couple of different forms. And what distinguishes the forms is why it is that there is more sugar than there should be in your blood. Now, type 1 diabetes, which is sometimes called juvenile diabetes, happens because of your body's inability to make enough insulin. You see, your sugar can't go straight from your bloodstream into your cells. There's a hormone called insulin that has to help it do that. And if your body, through your pancreas, isn't making enough insulin, then there isn't enough insulin available to move all of the sugar out of your bloodstream and into your cells. So we call this type 1 diabetes. And most of the time it happens because a person's own immune system attacks the part of the pancreas that makes insulin. So not enough insulin in the blood means too much sugar in your blood. Now today we have injectable insulin um, that people usually take uh, after they eat uh, as a way to offset what their body isn't doing naturally. We call this juvenile diabetes because it is something that often shows up very early in life because there's a physiological reason why your body isn't working the way that it should. Now type 2 diabetes, or what's sometimes called adult onset diabetes, is different. It's still that there's too much sugar running around in your bloodstream. That's the problem. Uh, but the reason why it isn't moving from your bloodstreams into your cells in type 2 diabetes is often not that there isn't enough insulin running around to help it. It's that your cells have become resistant to your insulin. And so the cells aren't paying attention to the signals that the insulin is giving to take more sugar in. And this leaves more sugar in your blood. Now we call this adult onset diabetes because it used to be that it was most common amongst older adults because it just simply takes time, years if not decades, for your body to become resistant to its own insulin. So those are the two most common forms of diabetes. There are about 30 million people in the United States now who have some form of this condition. About a million and a half of those are type 1, and the rest are type 2s. There's also another type, which is called gestational diabetes, that shows up in pregnant women. Now, nobody's sure what causes this, but the problem is the same. For some women, while they are pregnant, they end up with too much sugar in their bloodstream and will sometimes need to change their diet or take some medication to help them out with that. Oftentimes, though, as soon as they're done being pregnant, the problem will go away. So whether it be type 1, type 2, or gestational, the problem with diabetes is the same. The sugar is in your blood where it's not doing you any good and can do you some long-term harm instead of it being in your cells and your body being able to use it for energy for you to live. Hi there everybody, Jeremy here. How about go ahead and clicking subscribe below so that you will be aware anytime there's a new video. Also, while 30 million people have diabetes, really a lot of us don't talk about it, which could leave us feeling alone or isolated. So to reach out to those folks, how about clicking share on Facebook or Twitter? You never know who's out there who might really appreciate it. Thanks.